Oh, it's so good to be back. Just seeing a little bit of the sunrise at the beach. Now I'm gonna go say hi to Jeffrey in the morning, check on the Dodge Ram and start the rest of our day. Got a lot of things going on. <laughs> Chrysler Aspen. Isn't that crazy? All right. Look, he's got the registration on the Dodge Ram. It's it's basically running. Jeffrey, where are you? All right. Quick meeting with Jeffrey. Oh, man. So much to do. We got to go to West Palm Beach, deliver the Ferrari packages, and then we got to return the rental car. But before we return the rental car, we can take the pickup truck from Jeffrey and use that as second car to return the rental car and then go pick up the trailer in it and put it in Jeffrey's yard, which I've been asking him use of his yard for a year. And uh, now he's begging me to use his yard, put the trailer and hitch, hitch it up to the truck and put it to work. So maybe Elio will be the driver, but I got to put my seatbelt on first and go to the store, buy flowers because can't be coming home without no flowers for the wife. Okay, Publix, huh? Groceries. Oh, gourmet truffles. Can I get a high five on YouTube? High five. This is my channel. See ya. Uh, yeah, let's see what, um, you know, w w when you come home, it's mandatory you grab, you grab at least something from a, a store like this, right? And uh, what do you think? Are these are these? Uh, they need something a little bit better, but I guess at least at, at least that at least that off the Publix. Oh my goodness, the bag. Got to come home with something and be like, babe, I missed you, honey. I missed you. What do you think? Will she like these? And then uh, also grab yourself whatever kombucha is on sale. Two for five, huh? Apple ginger, what, no? Uh, buy two, get one free. Forget it, we're gonna get the one that's not on sale, but it's our favorite. So yeah, and then maybe some kind of snack, just in case uh, there really isn't anything edible at home. What should we grab? Now, my friend Troy said berries are cancer killers. I don't know, I was like, bro, really? Yeah, I guess. Grab a pomegranate or two as well. These are delicious. I'm gonna grab two of these. Oh, it's a real nice lady. <laughs> I uh, w went through her checkout and told her. She was, her name's Myra. Come out and see her at the public. She was really, that was good. They're quick on her feet. I, you know, throw a camera in her face and say, high five on YouTube. <laughs> That's how you spot a good worker. Look, the license plate says Basha's from Massachusetts on this Range Rover. Kinda cool, I guess. I don't know. Range Rover. <laughs> With a Russian guy named Pasha. There he is, right there. Oh my gosh, what a scary sight, huh? Look at this thing. Yikes. Poor dragon. Trying to jump through the fence and got stuck. Man, he kicked up all the rocks, even kicked the rocks into the other side. Just poor guy. Sat. This is like the second time I've seen it happen, once by the tennis court. And now at our like right in front of our parking spot. How do we get rid of this guy? Dragon. Poor dinosaur dragon. So sad. Caught in the fence. He snuck through and I guess got most of himself through and then the rest got stuck. For all you reptiles out there watching, Look out for these fences. This is the second time. I've seen it happen at the tennis court too. Just dry it up in the tennis court because he got stuck. Try to put it in reverse. I guess it's kind of a life lesson, huh? Sometimes 
when things aren't going too well, put it in reverse right away. Don't go forward. You'll get stuck even more. All right, guys, what do you think? Uh, a uh, soap, a soap like this, Dr. Brower's, right? This like all natural soap like that. Wash the blueberries with, cut up, cut the pomegranate top off and slice down the middle in the flowers. And to the bedroom I go, be like, babe, you missed out on the sunrise this morning and all the cool stuff on the road and the truck breaking down and a race car museum and all this stuff. So I'm sorry you didn't go with me, but here's some flowers and uh, some delicious goodness. Babe, weren't those blueberries delicious, huh? Hmm? Mm -hmm. What in the world? Can we show the viewers what we have in your closet? No. Let's see Dasha Yaramava's no, modeling closet. No? This okay. Private. It's private? private? You look cute though, babe. Every, everybody give Dasha a comment and tell her she's beautiful because she is. And I'm the luckiest guy on the planet to be married to her and be her husband. A lot of stuff going on. We're missing out on the art basil because uh, Dasha has been working hard at the Lamborghini dealer. Not mm -hmm. What else? Um, I didn't participate in any shows. Any she didn't participate in any shows. What are we doing on Saturday? Oh, Saturday is going to be fun. Saturday is going to be a fun day for us, so we'll try to... Yeah. We we'll be vlogging that. A lot of things going on okay. on Saturday. Okay. You look cute in that too, babe. Thanks. What are we... We got the Christmas uh, dinner at the dealership, right? It's a holiday party. A holiday party. For the employees. And... Th that you're not invited to, but I can come because I'm your husband. It's plus one. Plus so one. I was thinking for a long time who to take, but really? it's not on you. <laughs> <laughs> See how fortunate and blessed and lucky I am? That's pretty cool. Uh, what else going on? Make sure you get a haircut yeah. before we go in. Yeah. That's, what, that's what I'm going to do while you're at the fitting right now. And search at the Okay, one. So you can wear that. Yeah. I, by the way, I gotta wash Try the on. shirt. It, it looks great. See. It looks great. Okay. That's amazing. You can. You yeah. know, You have what to wear because yep. it's gonna be like black tie. Dress oh, up. and I got that Lamborghini tie. I got Where? that with the suit. With, this. Let me see. You. Okay. So you like the Lamborghini tie? Come here. Give it. Give it here. Give it here. So, so I have this um, up and coming billionaire client, right? Who at the time. I was, uh, I hauled just a couple of cars for, and they blew me away, mind-blowing cars, and I was like, I got to make this guy into a friend, and a week later, the thought came to me, I texted him, hey, whenever you're ready to sell the Testarossa, please let me know first, because I want to be the guy that buys it, you know, not even thinking that I could afford a Testarossa or anything like that, he messaged me back. Saying, saying, uh, you're a cool guy too. I said, I'd love to learn from you. Maybe see how you do your deals. He said, wear a suit. And at that moment, I'm at a Lamborghini dealership picking up a car. They're like, they're a nice, a nice woman like you is like, yeah, we have some Lamborghini merch while you wait. And I was like, oh yeah, that looks nice. That looks nice. How much is that tight? $275. I was like, $275. Well, that sounds like a deal, but in reality, I was like, "What a load of money!" You so spend listen, so listen, wait, wait, bucks wait so this. listen. So uh, while I'm waiting, I was like, "So is my car coming up?" And the lady says, "Say to me, they'll be around in just a minute." Mm -hmm. Say, say it. I will be around in just a minute. So I'm still looking at her and the ties and stuff, and I was and and this guy, this up and coming billionaire, messages me back saying, "Just." have a suit and tie it handy with you when you're coming by the area. And I was like, oh, I might be coming by his area right now. This car I'm delivering, 
I was like, here's my credit card. I'll take that tie. Boom. That was this tie right here. Lamborghini. And guess what? It's, and I, even Where does though, it say Lamborghini? Right. All over. Those are the Lamborghini logos. Mm, no. Right the Lamborghini there. Lamborghini logo says different. But okay. What do you mean it says different? This is a Lamborghini logo. Yeah, babe. I know. But this, it's going to be all this, like in the Lamborghini bulls, you know. <laughs> This is a Lamborghini logo. This is when the Aventador came out. Yeah. This tie is a little aged. Well, so he paid for your tie or you paid? No, I, I, I decided that moment while standing, looking at merch, waiting for my car to be, come out and me to load it in the trailer, I decided I'm going to invest $275. So he never invested in my dress for 300 bucks. What? Your purse? Okay, purse. Person. Okay, purse. <laughs> oh. yeah. So, um, wow. so now look, now Dasha's working at a, a Lamborghini dealer. Look how like you, I was way before, right? You've had it for a long time. Yeah, right? 2018. I didn't even know that it's a Lamborghini. 2018. Oh, okay. I thought it's like this. It it's like it's this the trip. logo on the Aventador. Come so on. Sure, I'm sorry, I have to go. Just gotta go. That's better. Clean cut haircut but I had a weird thing happen look someone left a thing of Altoids on my car or on the Jetta you guys this old Jetta is still alive I don't know I it's kind of weird that I find a box of Altoids that's weird that's so weird who would leave a box of Altoids on the car yeah remember this old Jetta from the old channel oh yeah that diesel rumbling Listen to that thing. It's like Tom Cruise in Top Gun. Listen to her howling low. She got you jumping off the deck. Shove it over into overdrive. Yeah, no, I don't know. It, it makes a weird popping sound. Watch this. It pops out of gear when you uh, have it in reverse. See, why does it do that? Does, that, does anyone, anybody know, comment below why it's doing that and... It's kind of uh, uncomfortable. But she pulls good forward, look at that, zero to 80 in like four seconds. <laughs> look at the needle bump jumping. Something's going on with this car. I mean, it's, it's really old, it's really old, but the engine never dies, so that's why I like it. It's like the beach car. It's like my little Econo box. I mean, listen to that thing rev up. Oh, yeah, that turbo diesel. It's just... Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, what do you guys think this is? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Right there. It needs a fuel filter? Of course it needs a fuel filter. Let's listen to it. Come on, come on. It may not pull the trailer all the way here. Okay, well, it's running kind of, there it goes. Yeah, that needs a fuel filter. Okay. Let's see, we'll do it again. Do it again, exhaust pipe, come on. Man, it's like all those, uh, all those guys with the big wheels sticking out slinging rocks all over but this one doesn't have big wheels they're all just stock wheels come on truck do it again yeah I, I think we're gonna have to put a filter on it okay, Jeffrey's got all these balls for the boats and stuff they're all too small huh this one what two and five sixteen ten thousand pound drop and lift with a pin yep let's take that so we'll put that in here. 
power steering. We shall wash fluid. I think that's it. Off we go. Son of a gun. I'm two minutes late. We're at the cell phone lot. We just transferred all the things from the Pacifica. Ilya delivered the packages to the Ferrari dealer today. The, the boxes that needed to go for the car show in West Palm Beach. And then, anyways, I'm gonna go return the rental car and then we go. Let's see, it's got the same, is that about the same amount of fuel I got it with? I think so. And then we go get the trailer. Let's go. Okay. Warning, do not back up. Yikes! Holy Nikes. Rental car return, easy right? Still, is that it? Do we just leave it here? Ah, coming at right here. Yeah, behind another white Pacifica from Kentucky. Why are they all from where's this one from? Anyways, done. Out. Yeah. How late are we? What let's look at the number plate. It, oh, it's from Ohio. Why does it have a fleet sticker? How do I get a fleet sticker? I was just thinking. That's kind of cool, huh? So it looks like that's the way the day's going. Grab the my bag and the other iPhone. Okay. Let's go. Well, that's it. 15 seconds and I'm out. Now I just gotta find my way back to the cell phone lot where Ilya is in the Dodge Ram Ram. Maybe he could pick me up at the terminal like I fly in and hop in the truck. Okay, let's go. Where is he? Where is this truck? Oh, there he is, way over there. See him. Airport stuff, if you see something, say something. Suspicious activity. All right, down the escalator and I'm out. Where is this guy? There he is, Blink. He said, oh, I pulled over at the first door. Buddy, come on, Ilya, that's the first door. And where you are is not the second door. And oh my goodness, looks like the brake light is out on the ramp. There's that suspicious airport activity we talked about. Yikes. Oh, actually, it's just one brake light and the tail lights are out completely on that side. Let's go, go, go. How much fuel we got in it? Half a tank? How do you like this truck, Ilya? Wow, watch out for these. Everybody's staring at us. Yeah. What do you think, huh? You want to hold Pagani Zondas in this thing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? You like it? Yeah, I like it. Look at this guy. You can drive, stick shift. He's it's perfect car hauler for this truck. What do you guys think? I think this is a beautiful car. Beautiful sound. Beautiful. Beautiful shifter. <laughs> yeah? He has in love, huh? Runs good, huh? Okay, let's yeah. go pick up the trailer. Okay, no more misbehaving. That, <laughs> that was kind of. We can, we can see if it rolls any coal here. Uh, а он, он гудит, он гудит, и вот сцепляет только что меня. 
segnale search the car hauler is expanding his business if you're interested in joining an exciting company as a driver owner operator and such visit his page at searchthecarhauler.com and send him a message